This is the book of Psalms, chapter 96 and verse 4. It says, For Yahweh is great, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Psalms chapter 9 and verse 16. Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higayan Salah. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord, our Savior, and our Deliverer, the Messiah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shah. Call Halayam La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakodash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who taught us this 100% truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Salutations. Peace, blessings, and safety to the whole four out there, beginning with the, with the brothers, the Akiyam, as well as my fellow laborers, doing this work in all truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, risking their lives, and as well as the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, whose lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and as well as the Akwati and the sisters, listening and learning and taking heed to this word in obedience. Yahweh this is the brother Abba Yahweh, with another lesson through the spirit, power, and mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. The Lord willing, this is edifying. And, you know, straight to the point, man, this this uh, this lesson is entitled, you know, Visitation of the Lord, okay, with, with you know, with, in parentheses, judgment, okay, because that's how the Lord is visiting this world, by way of judgment. And as I just said, in these two scriptures that I brought out, the first one, Psalms 96, it says, For Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. And if you notice, the word gods is in lowercase, okay, because, you know, there's no respect due to those other so-called, quote-unquote, gods, because they are no gods. They have no, no life. They're not, they don't exist except in the imagination of men, okay, because men created those gods. Those gods are nothing more than idols, okay? Imaginary. You know, they have no no breath. They have no no senses. You know, they have they can't smell, touch, see, hear anything. Okay, but the one true power, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, the Most High. It, it, you know, He exists. That's what His name means, Yahweh. He is, or He exists. He is to be. Okay, the the Heavenly Father is very much so alive. Okay, He's the only true living power. Okay, which is why he is to be feared above all gods. Okay, these, these false gods have no power. The Lord is in control of all things and all spirits. Okay, things seen and things not seen. All right, and um, the next scripture in Psalms 9, it says, Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executed. All right, in times past, okay, the Lord was known as Alashadja. Okay, terrible demon-like power. All right. The Lord was known for, for, you know, for judging people in, in a harsh way, okay? Righteously, of course, the Lord is just in all his doings, okay? But the Lord was known for not, you know, for not messing around. And as time went on, you know, fast forward to today, in this present time, the people have forgot the power of Yahweh by Shema Shah. They've forgotten why Yahweh is to be feared, okay? And, and, you know, the Lord is only getting started in reminding people, all right, the Lord is reintroducing Himself, but this is this is nothing. What we see today is something. You know, not to discredit the Lord's works, but according you know uh, according to what the Lord is going to do. Considering what the Lord is going to do, as we get closer and closer to the end, this is just, this is going to look like, you know, um, this is going to look like like recess, man. You know, we see, and what I mean by this. You know, um, I got a video to play and a, a few articles just going into, the, you know, the Lord judging, judging these people, man. OK, and the scriptures say whoever perish being innocent, man, they that so in, uh, so iniquity, you know, receive the same roughly paraphrasing. So the people that we see getting judged, man, whether they getting shot, whether they getting set on fire, whether they, you know, <laughs> getting, um, you know, destroyed in, in a, a, a condo collapse, whether they, you know, whatever the case may be, man, car accidents, all of these things are, are judgment from on high, man. All right. And again, man, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh is, is 
reminding, you know, beginning to remind the world who he is. All right, but it's going to get more in, in, intense. It's going to get more chaotic. All right, the Lord is going to demand his respect and his fear. The Lord said... Isaiah 42 and 8, it says, uh, this is the Heavenly Father speaking, man. It says, I am Yahweh, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Those graven images is those other gods, all right? Those other entities that these heathens and these wicked jakes praise and worship, okay? The Lord is due all worship, praise, honor, and glory. None, none else. All right, but that's why the Lord is doing these things, man. You know, the Lord is judging this place for one, to remind um, the world who he is and, and what's due unto him, okay? And also for, the, for judgment's sake, okay? The only reason the Lord um, has been holding back is because of, for one, so that he won't, he won't be found a liar. The Lord has said certain things were going to play out according to an appointed time. And if the Lord had brought these things sooner, he would have been found a liar. But the Lord is not going to be found a liar, okay? Because he is not a man that he should lie, right? So, in these last days, it's said that, you know, these things will increase. Wickedness will increase. Judgment is going to, you know, um, be poured out. Okay? And this is only the beginning, man. But without further ado, I'm going to play this video. And then I'm gonna get the article and there was some scriptures. Three people killed two of so like me, uh, first heard following the holiday block. My Bluetooth off. Overnight, three people killed, two others hurt following a holiday block party. Yeah, this is just the latest violent incident to end in tragedy. It took place on Towns in Belafonte near Hamilton Park just a few hours ago. Chris Adegui with us this morning following this story. So, Chris, what do we know now? Okay, alcohol, fireworks, gunfire, certainly there's cause for celebration on July 4th, but all those things also cause for worries from police, and they go into this holiday every year concerned about violence. Sure enough, there were multiple shootings, including one that happened late last night that left three people dead. Five people altogether were shot at a block party that was finishing up in the Hamilton Park neighborhood of North Dallas. Three of the kill, three of them were killed. A fourth is in critical condition at last check. We're not sure yet the condition of the fifth person or what motivated the shooting. Police said that they found multiple shell casings on the ground. That indicates that there were multiple gun use. Going into the weekend, Dallas police said this usually is the busiest time of the year for them and urged everyone to celebrate responsibly. Less than 24 hours earlier, in the early morning hours of July 4th, eight people were shot near a car wash in Fort Worth on Horn Street. Police there think it was some kind of argument that led to the shooting. And also, in that case, different shell casings were found on the ground. Police think there were multiple, sh multiple shootings there, shooters there, too. They think most of the people hit by the gunfire were innocent bystanders. Plus, a young girl was hurt by a car that was speeding away from the scene. Nobody has been arrested in that case yet. Fortunately, nobody killed there either. This is an extremely tragic event on what is supposed to be a festive occasion on Independence Day. We're seeing way too much gun violence across the nation. We're seeing it here in Fort Worth. We're seeing it in the Metroplex. That was Fort Worth Police Chief Neil Noakes. He said that he wanted to tell the people in Fort Worth that they're doing everything they can to get guns out of the hands of violent criminals. Here in Dallas, Police Chief Eddie Garcia also said, according to their crime reduction plan, their goal is to focus in on those known offenders, those repeat offenders in those areas where they're known to commit those crimes. Mark and Kara, back to you. And yeah, well, we are going to stay on this breaking story for the rest of the morning. And of course. All right. So, you know, that's, that's, that's just judgment, man. As simple as that. You know, um, between Chicago and, and Dallas, it was 100 people shot, and of those 100 people shot, 22 was fatally, okay? And you can't tell me that that's not judgment of the Lord, man. First off, the Lord ain't dealing with these, these wicked-ass holidays that have nothing to do with, with serving Him, okay? They, they wasn't given to us from Yahweh by Shema Shah, some damn so-called Independence Day. It has nothing to do with the Israelites, us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? We not independent. 
when, when Independence Day was um was created or or when it was um, declared or whatever you want to call it, us Israelites were still enslaved, and from that point on, we still enslaved. We're not free. We're not independent. We have no liberty. Okay, so you know, it's many different factors that can play into why the Lord is, is, is you know, has has done the, uh, or allowed these things to happen. Okay, the Lord, like it says, man, the Lord hates, you know, um, those those feast days and those solemn assemblies, man. Roughly paraphrasing, because they not they have nothing to do with him. Okay, that's a pagan holiday. All right, and it has nothing to do with with us. All right. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter twelve and verse twenty-two. Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, "The days are prolonged and every vision faileth"? All right. This is this is the mindset of uh, majority of Israelites. You know, they think that what's written in the scriptures is being prolonged. It, like you know, it's it's just not going to come. You know, some believe that it's not going to come at all. Some believe that it's not going to come in their lifetime. But, you know, hey, these prophecies will and are being fulfilled, man. They, you know, prophecies are being fulfilled as we speak. And, and, you know, there are still prophecies that have yet to, to be fulfilled. But they will be fulfilled, man. Like the scriptures say, man, in Habakkuk, you know, the vision is yet for an appointed time. Though it tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not tarry. All right? So just because it is not coming when you expect it or when... You know, when you're ready for it, that does not mean it's not going to come. The scriptures also say, for what if some did not believe? So they make the faith of the Most High without effect. All right. How will forbid? All right. But let every man be a liar. Or let the Most High be true and every man a liar. All right. So the Lord spoke these things into existence, but they're going to happen according to his timing. Verse 23. Tell them, therefore... Thus saith the Lord Power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. Yeah, uh, going into how in uh, in the Apocrypha in Second Ezra it says, uh, the end is manifest, man. All right. So you know the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. You're gonna, you know, hey, we all about to feel the effects of these visions, meaning these prophecies, real soon. But you know, we expecting it, you know, us who are of the hopeful elect, us who are on our watch, you know, being circumspect and vigilant in these days, we expecting it, we anticipating it. But the rest is going to get caught off guard. All right. And, um, you know, just to stay on topic, you know, this, the specific vision or, or prophecy um, I'm speaking of is, you know, the, the scriptures say in the last days, perilous times shall come. Right. Perilous meaning dangerous, uncertain times. All right, these are very dangerous times, man. You know, uh, the Lord is sending out those those spirits created for vengeance every day. All right, they they constantly on the move, constantly working on the left hand side, doing the will of Yahweh Shem Al Shah to appease His wrath. Okay, and and they they it's like they get strengthened or more powerful on these wicked holidays. Okay, for example, uh, just last night the the video that I just played, man, so called. Fourth of July, Independence Day. You know that was a lot of that was a lot of judgment that went out. All right, because the Lord is, is allowing those spirits to get on these different people, man. People, these you know people is getting more and more wicked by the day. They out there lurking. They out there hunting. You know they out there prowling and and, and um you know just you know people is out just just to commit all forms of wickedness. All right, because they have those those left hand spirits on them, them demons on them, man. All right, verse 24, it says, For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am Yahweh, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Here the Lord said his, void is, uh, shalak, his, his word is not going to return unto him void. Meaning it's going to come to pass. All right, and he says, you know, the word that he sends is going to prosper, or the, or the word that he speaks is going to prosper in the thing whereto he sent it. Okay? It says, um, for in your in your days, O rebellious house, talking about Israelites, will I say the word and will perform it. 
saith the Lord power. Yeah, the Lord is, is letting the Israelites know, those those unbelieving Israelites, know that. Don't worry about it. You ain't got to believe that I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. You watch, you know. And it's not a threat with the Lord. The Lord don't threaten. Well, yeah, the, the Lord does threaten, but he makes good his threats. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it that way. All right. All right, the Lord, the Lord threatens and he makes good on his promises, man. Verse 26, again, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. That are far off. Uh, again, going back to the mindset, the mentality of Israelites, man, these, these, these people are in, uh, in derision, ultimately, man, to think that the Lord is not going to, gonna uh, make any kind of moves anytime soon all right at one point that's the, you know even to, even to this day that's the mindset of jake and it's been like that for a long time but the lord is is, is fed up with you know people in general man the, the 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 his creation not taking him seriously and not fearing him okay so the lord is about to judge this world he's about to visit this world okay on a much more extreme scale very soon and he's going to demand his, his respect. And then nobody's going to be able to ignore it or deny it. All right? And um, for those Israelites that, that think that the Lord's prophecies is not going to be fulfilled anytime soon, those are going to be the same ones that when those prophecies do be fulfilled, they're going to be caught off guard and destroyed for their, for their um, unbelief. Verse 28, Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word... Which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord Power. Okay, and, that's, and the scriptures tell us to be circumspect and vigilant, right? Okay, if you being vigilant and circumspect, and you see that judgment is going out more and more every day, you know? Every day you wake up, you see some new crazy story, or, or, or stories, plural, of, of, of judgment going out, or, or something terrible happening. You don't think the Lord is visiting this place? You don't think we closer to the end? You don't think that that's happening for a reason? The days are, we in the evil days? You know, that's why it says, um, you know, uh, be uh, sober, uh, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We have to be sober minded and, and on our watch. Or, or else you're going to get caught up in the same things that you see around us or that we see around us. Proverbs 29 and 16, when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases. What is transgression? Okay, transgression is, is you know, the um, you know, disobedience of the law, man. It's sin. All right, so when, when the more wicked people there are, the more transgression is going to be. Okay, because that's how wicked people live. They live in transgression. They live in wickedness. It says, but the righteous shall see their fall. Right? And the righteous are going to be that the, the elect, man. And we of the hopeful elect. We you know we, we uh, abstaining from all appearances of evil. Not taking part in the things that the world is taking part in. All right? Uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 12. And because iniquity shall abound. Iniquity being sin on top of sin. Okay? A.K.A. wickedness. It says, the love of many shall wax cold. All right? And we see that. All right, it's, it's more guns on the streets now than, than it's ever been. All right, and all of these guns being on the street and people not being in their right mind is, is a, a very detrimental mixture. It's a deadly uh, um, combination, man. You know, that's a, that's a terrible concoction of, of um, you know, of, uh, por you know, different portions, man. You got wicked people with with tools of destruction. The only thing that can come from that is what? Destruction. All right, so the love of many is waxing cold, meaning, you know, these people are becoming more and more heartless. There is no love. Everybody is, is you know, out on a hunt, you know, on the prowl, you know, trying to fulfill their own lust, trying to get ahead. You know, only it's, it's, it's every man for themselves right now. And it's going to get worse, all right? Right now, you still have um, a form of, of um, friendship and, and, 
you know, uh, what you call it, um, you know, some people are still together, so to speak. But in, in, in these last days, man, when famine hit, when, when, when you know, sedition hits, when, when you know, it, it's uncertain when you're going to have your next meal and all of that, it's really going to be every man for themselves. And the love of many is going to be as cold as it, it can ever get, okay? But right now we see it, man, you know, and, and we, this is just talking about, you know, people being shot. This is not even talking about all of the other forms of judgment that the Lord is bringing out. This is just talking about, you know, people, dumb people with guns, wicked people with guns, reckless people with guns. All right, Zephaniah 3 and 5, the just Lord, Yahweh, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Yeah, so all of these things that we that we see is the Lord is just in, in allowing these things to take place. All right, he's doing it. All right, the Lord is allowing these things to happen because of the wickedness that these people are committing. All right, the Lord is righteous all the time. It says every morning that he bring his judgment to light. Yeah, that same judgment that he's known for, <clears throat> but the but that the world has forgotten about. The Lord has forgotten that the Lord was known for his judgments. So he's going to remind people of, you know, uh, of, of um, what he was once known as and what he's going to, going to be known as in these last days, man. The Lord is about to be remembered for those judgments which he executed. All right? And those, those judgments he brings forth every light, which is why we see these things being reported on daily, constantly. Something is always happening every second, man. Somebody, somebody getting judged right now. Which is why we have to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and continue to stay in these scriptures and, 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 and you know do our part, man. It says he fell if not. Alright, so that judgment is gonna go out, man, regardless. Cause what? The Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Now that's talking about the wicked Esau Edom, the wicked of the earth. And it's also talking about the wicked of, of our nation, man. These wicked Israelites. Anybody who's being wicked, man, the Lord is angry with them every day. It says, but the unjust know of no shame, man. So these people are going to continue to do what they do, man. The wicked shall do wickedly. But the Lord is going to continue, you know, the more wickedness that happens, the more judgment going to happen. So, like I said, if the wicked are multiplied and transgression increases, uh, or it says when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases. So the more transgression that happens, transgression being sin and the wages of sin being death, you're going to see much more death, much more. Because wickedness is increasing. And, and the Lord is in control of all of this. For those people who, who, again, man, have forgotten that the Lord is terrible, you know, and not just merciful and, 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 and good. The Lord is, is great and terrible. All right? He's bringing forth all of this, this chaos and this, these calamities. All right? Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? You know, going back to the um, the old days when, you know, you used certain trumpets for certain certain things. You know, you had the trumpet that was blown for um, for a feast. You had the trumpets that were blown for a solemn assembly. You know, which can be you know go along with being uh, being a feast. You had those the uh, certain trumpets, uh, or or the certain way you blew the trumpet. Okay, that that uh, you know that um, signify what type of um. Well, know what manner of attitude you should be in, so to speak, or what you what you what you should do. Okay, you had certain trumpets blown for when you were when you were supposed to prepare for war. Okay, when when evil was upon the city, and that's the trumpet that this scripture is talking about. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? That trumpet that's being blown is that trumpet of, of war, man. That trumpet that that's telling you to get ready to get you know prepare for for <laughs> prepare for um impact, so to speak. Okay, because wickedness and judgment is coming full force, head to head with this place, and and it's about to it's about to, you know, collide. So prepare for impact. It says, "Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord Yahweh have not done it?" It's a rhetorical question. Okay, when people, when, you know, when you blow that trumpet, people are going to be afraid. Okay, and when the Lord. Or, or, or when there's evil being done in a city, 
It's not, is it, is it not from Yahweh Bashim Yahusha? Yes, it is. All right, Sirach chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, uh, poverty and riches come of the Lord. Okay, it's plain. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am He. This is the Heavenly Father speaking. And there is no God with me. Again, the, the word God is in lowercase. Okay? Because there's no respect to these other gods. You don't put an uppercase letter on there on, on, on that when you're talking about these other gods. Because the, the Heavenly Father is the only one with, with, you know, with true power. He says, he says um, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right. So when the Lord wants somebody to get judged, when the Lord wants somebody somebody to uh, to be killed or to die in a horrible way, there's no, there's nothing anybody or any spirit can do to stop it. Okay. You, you know, when the Lord has you know judgment in His hand for somebody, it's gonna it's gonna happen. It's gonna be fulfilled. Hebrews 10 and 32. It says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right. So, yeah, man. Like, knowing, there, knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Persuade men to do what? To repent. Okay. To turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and, and to be specific, Israelite men. Okay. Because that's who repentance is for. That's who the Lord wants to turn back. All right. So, you know. This should be, you know, um, this should, you should be constantly meditating on this. And it's a lot for this um, random background noise. I forgot to get these other articles. Let me get these articles real quick and then I'm going to continue. This is uh, posted three days ago. And it says a uh, one month old and nine year old. Uh, a one month, one month, one month old girl and a nine year old girl were both shot in the head in separate acts of violence in Chicago on Thursday. All right, seven people, including one month, uh, the one month old baby, were shot shortly after 8 p.m. Thursday when three men got out of a black Cherokee Jeep and began spraying bullets on the city's south side. All right, that's that love of many waxing cold, man. Those spirits of vengeance uh, working through these wicked niggas. Uh, it says the baby was hit in the head and hospitalized in critical condition. Okay, judgment for all of them. Even that young baby who who, who barely um, been on this earth, uh, you know, for a millisecond, man, in the eyes of the Lord. Okay, judgment already for what? For the for the, the actions of that child in his past life or her past life. If your spirit can receive that. All right, it says the, um, the other six people were shot, listed in good condition. All right. It says, um, hours earlier at about 2.45 p.m., a nine-year-old girl was shot in the head while in a car on the city's south side. The nine-year-old was hospitalized in critical condition. A man in the car was also shot and hospitalized in good condition. Okay, so yeah, that's just more judgment that the Lord is bringing forth, man. And if you can see, the Lord is using all of these guns that's being put out to, uh, to you know, to do this judgment. But... The Lord is about to do much, many more wonders, many more, uh, you know, terrible works, man. And right now, no pestilences and, pe and plagues and things like that that we don't that we ain't expecting. You know, when, when a nigga get a gun, you know, you can only expect so much. But the Lord is about to do it. More crazy things, man. Just let um, posted six hours ago. It says multiple people shot in North Las Vegas. All right, which um, this is where I am right now. All right, it says the North Las Vegas Police Department say they received a report of a shooting in West Helen Avenue near Martin Luther King Boulevard. And Cary Avenue around 11:14 p.m., which is near the area that I'm in. All right, and um, last night, man, you know, when they was shooting their little fireworks or whatever, I couldn't tell if it was fireworks or guns. 
It sounded so crazy. You know, but I had a, I had a good idea. All right, but hey, you know, there was sirens going off all night last night. But, you know, through the spirit, man, I, was, I just slept through it. All right. It says, upon arrival, they found one person with multiple gunshot wounds. The victim was transported to University uh, Medical Center with nine life threatening injuries. Shortly after, UPA, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it says at least seven people were injured during these shootings, and there are multiple scenes. All right, so apparently it was, you know, seven people shot, and two of those died. Okay, more judgment. And the Lord is doing it. All right, this last scripture, 2 Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. Okay, yeah, like, you know, you're thinking that the Lord is not going to make good his word, because it's not happening you know, as expected. The Lord is not going to do anything according to your expectations, to our expectations. Okay, but it says, but is long-suffering to us work. Yeah, the Lord is long-suffering with us Israelites. Okay, not willing that any should perish. Yeah, it's not the Lord. It doesn't bring the Lord pleasure. You know, the Lord is not, does not take delight in destroying his people. But, but he will, and he is. All right, it says, but that all should come to repentance. Okay, all Israelites is being called to repentance, man. It's being commanded to repent. Okay? This is not a question. This is not an offer. This is a commandment that we must repent or die. Period. Okay? And, you know, but with that, Lord willing, it was edifying. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the hopeful elect. Abba, Baba, Waquam, Yashallah, Shalom.